is Shariah significant? Sharia is a code that all Muslims should adhere. It aims to help Muslims understand how they should lead every aspect of their lives. Sharia represents how practicing Muslims can best lead their daily lives. It may be generally defined as the Islamic law revealed by God. Believed to be the word of God as revealed to the Prophet, the Quran is a Muslim's holy book. For Muslims, it is a book of guidance for humankind. Muslims believe that being a Muslim makes you have better connection with your family. Islamic people stay Muslim their whole life and since they follow their God they believe they come back to life. Islam has not only acknowledged and recognised private ownership but it also provides for its perfection. Every individual man and woman, Muslim and non-Muslim, are entitled under the Sharia law to the ownership, possession, enjoyment and transfer of property. The Prophet peace be upon him, he said in a famous hadith that it is better to leave your family wealthy and not dependent upon others than to give away all your wealth to charity. Private ownership in Islam is absolutely respected, but the more an individual owns, the more responsibility he has to take for society. What is the source of Sharia? The source of Sharia is the Quran. The Quran is the source of knowledge for Muslims. They can learn about Islam and become a better Muslim. This is the secondary source of Sharia. The secondary source of Sharia does not explain the Quran as easy as the primary does. Sayings, actions and the actions done with the approval of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. What is sauna? Sauna has been going on for a long time. To this day, it's been two and a half thousand years. Most people that support Sana are from Yemen. Yemen is a country in the Middle East. Sharia protects the poor by taking a certain amount of money from the richer people. The money that gets taken from the rich people will then get donated to poor families. The money that the poor people get given helps by giving them the money to buy food and water for their children and family. The Islamic laws say if you have more than 87.48 grams of gold or 4,291 pounds and 73 pence, then you have to donate 2.5% of your money to the poor people to protect them from homelessness and starvation. Everyone has the right to the preservation of human dignity, personal honour, reputation and the protection of a good name. Dignity means our self of self-worth, respect and esteem. It is also respect to others as well as ourselves. An example of this is standing up for oneself as well as assisting elders. These are the ones that I think are important for a fair community. The five pillars are the core beliefs of Islam. Shahada, the profession of faith. Salat, prayer. Muslims mostly pray every day.
Zakat, you have to donate 2.5 of your charity to the poor. Psalm, fasting, you can't eat for a day. Health protection is a big priority in Islam. The Prophet assigns top priority to good health. In Islamic faith, wealth is appropriate to a God-fearing person, but good health is better for the God-fearing than wealth.